Here we are, guys. Uh, we're in Ultimate Ultimate Acura. It's 4.6.1. Currently, I'm using. Um, for some reason, I can't get 4.8 to run. It just keeps crashing out on me. Um, but I'll deal with that another day. So here we are. We've got a keyring. Um, in order to give the keyring strength, now I make these and um, and sell them. Um, so. I, the infill on them, I'd normally put like 80%, which gives them a good strong, gives us a good strong keyring. Um, but if, if you didn't want it to be totally at 80% all the way through, because um, really from kind of here, uh, that side of the, the letter M, it'd be a, kind of a bit of a weak spot as well. Where the chain attaches, it'd be a weak spot. Um, but from here through we could be less so if we went to infill and say we made it just for argument's sake um 25 percent infill but we wanted to make this section here at 80 percent or even 90 percent and what we do we select the select the item that's on the bed uh, we go across to here where it says support blocker we take that, we click it, and we click it on top of the item. So you can see it there, it's on top of the item. Well, we want to resize that item now. So we go over to scale. We click on the item we want to scale. We'll widen it out. We don't need uniform scaling really. So we widen it out. Then we take it past what we consider to be the weak point on the M, then I'll move it across a little bit. So the whole keying at the moment, the infill is 25%. That's what it says up here. Our layer height is not 0.2. So we don't want that end section there to be just 25% because it's weak on this section here on the M. And we've got a chain attaching to here. So what we then do is we've got this box selected that we've just done. So we go across to per model settings. We go on per model settings and you move up until you get modify settings for overlaps. We click that. And you can see the box has changed color. That's because we're about to change something within that box. So we can go to select settings, type in infill, infill density. Now, before it lets you do anything in this box, you have to close this box. So now we've modified the infill density, we can do the end where this box is. On this end of the keying, we've changed the infill density to 80% and everything else will be done at 25%. So this ends 80, that end 25%. Um, if you wanted to um, select another setting, you can. You, can. you can select pretty much anything you want. Um, I can't think of anything to. Um, to do really to alter on it uh, the bottom thickness top thickness and um, if we clicked on bottom thickness um, and then close this down and go to bottom thickness here we can go 1.2 um, wall thickness we can change that to 1.2 so that it's thicker all around here all together so then we we'll just click on the build plate and that'll go away. So right now, this keying will be a lot stronger on this end to that point there. And at that point there, it doubles up on the M and the E anyway. So it'd be quite strong from this point on. Um, and then we slice it up. And we've got one hour exactly. And that's where it's at. Um, I'm just doing it's just kind of a, like a five minute quick tutorial for modify settings. I'll try and drop 
the odd one in uh, for Cura and Prusa Slicer, Prusa Slicer. Um, now I use the two. I tend to use Cura mostly, obviously, for the Anycubic, which is up here. And uh, I have Artillery G Genius as well, and the G Tech. Uh, the G Tech I use Cura for that as well. Um, but mostly the Anycubic. Uh, the G Tech's new, and I'm just kind of getting to grips with it uh, for the dual color. Comes in handy for keyrings. Um, and that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, I hope this helped. If it, I've gone a bit quick, uh, mention in the comments uh, if there's anything else you'd like to me to figure out for you. Um, just let me know. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it does the channel uh, the world of good. Let's uh, the YouTube algorithm know that people like watching the video and they'll put it out there for others so other people can see it and they can um, benefit from it as well. Um, I don't put adverts on my videos. I have it turned off, monetization turned off, because there's nothing worse. Uh, this video here would have probably had about three adverts through it just to see a five-minute video. So I don't have monetization turned on. I keep it turned off because I enjoy watching videos with no no adverts banging on every five minutes. So uh, just a thumbs up. That's all I ask if you want to subscribe, guys. Um, the next video I do is for um iono or yono um printer filament uh pla filament them guys reached out to me asked would i do them a review on the the filament i've got quite a few filament um reviews to do i've got sunlu technology outlet ace ace i think it is so arsenix or something um i've got them guys to do as well so keep tuned stay tuned uh the Yono or Iono, um, they sell on Amazon. Um, theirs will be coming up uh, this weekend, I think. Um, I'll be doing it. So probably about the 16th or the 17th of January, uh, Yono filament review will be coming up. Um, and it's it's surprisingly good to give you the spoiler alert. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thumbs up. That would be great for me. Um, subscribe would be good for me. But hey, it's your choice. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope this has been a help to you. See you again. Bye from Crafty Crafty.